Hi everyone. Let me just start out saying that if anyone actually has been like missing me on YouTube and wondering where I've been, I'm sorry. I'm alive. I'm okay. I don't know. I've just been trying to get a job and I have actually recorded a bunch of videos. I just haven't put them on YouTube because I'm too lazy to go on my computer and edit them and upload them because I have an iPhone and I've been going on my internet through my iPhone all the time and not really using my computer anymore. And I could straight upload from my phone to YouTube, but the quality will be really, 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 really poopy. And the only way you can get HD out of an iPhone for is uploading it to your computer and then to the internet. Uh, this is my Asian haul. If <laughs> And yeah, I love Asian culture in order maybe of Japanese, Korean, then Chinese, but I'm not saying anyone is better, I'm just saying for me personally, although Korea is kind of battling it with Japan. Anyway, so this is my Asian haul, and I wanted to show you what I got, because you might like it and be like, oh my god. Anyway, um, I didn't get this from Koreatown, I actually got it from Pela Shoes Source whatever it's called. It was on sale for four bucks. I already have the pink version, but I got the purple version of the Hello Kitty socks. The um, Hello Kitty with checkers. Um, random stripey Hello Kitty. I don't know. And then on the back is Star Kitty. Um, I'm too lazy to show you my pink ones. If you actually really want to see them, can you let me know and I'll include them in a video. Yes, from Koreatown, there's a supermarket called PAT Central. I don't actually know what it's called in Korean because, yeah, I only took Korean in summer school and I got a 54, which in Canada is, is a pass by only 4%. If you don't know what these noodles are, you really need to try them or find a way to get them so you can try them. Um, you've probably heard, if you like Korean stuff, you've probably heard or tasted or seen Shin Noodles by Nong Shim. And this is the same company, Nong Shim, uh, but these are the Huruk or Guksu. I, I don't really know, but they're my favorite ramen or Korean ramyun noodles probably in the world. Um, they're spicy, but not in the sense that you think of spicy. Like, they have that added kick, um, but it's not like, oh my gosh, I'm going to die spicy the way that Shin Noodles is. That's, like, the spiciest thing I've ever had in my life. But it tastes so damn good, and I have it once in a while, even though, you know, I'm choking, literally, for an hour after I eat it. But, um, yeah, it's, well, I guess these are, like, the healthy version of instant noodles because there's no MSG, it's mild and smooth, low in fat, non-fried, um, and they're about half of like the calories and in general badness of like even Mr. Noodles or whatever. For an entire thing of this it's 300 calories which is the equivalent of an Egg McMuffin from McDonald's so really yeah. It's super good. It's really tasty. I swear to gosh. It's the noodles in a little circle. And then it comes with a pack of powder flavor. A pack of bleh, liquid flavor. And a pack of like dried vegetables and dried chili peppers and stuff like that. It's, it's really good. Especially if you fry an egg or put an egg beside it or whatever you want. Really, it's, it's so good. Anyway, enough about that. I got two... Um, things of these and each one has five. If they had a whole box, I would have bought a whole box, but they had individuals, so I just bought two bags worth. Okay, um, if it seems like my camera is in a different position, or I'm crooked, or I'm closer, or farther, or you see more of me than before, um, my alarm went off while I was filming, so the camera is not exactly in the same place. Or at least I don't think so because I can't see myself right now. I just see a blinding light and the back of my phone. Okay, next thing. Uh, reminds me of my <laughs> Reminds me of my childhood. I used to live in a highly um, Chinese populated 
area and there's a Chinese supermarket uh, where we got all of our groceries from and every time I would go I'd be like mommy daddy get me some I don't even know what I used to call it but um, it's by Meiji Meiji it's made in Singapore I thought it was like Chinese or like Japanese. Anyway, this is Yan Yan. Yan Yan? Yan Yan. And I got the strawberry one because it's the one I always get. Um, and if you don't know what these are, if you know what Pocky is, this is pretty much Pocky plus some added work. So instead of a stick, coming with flavor on it, you have to literally dip your stick in some flavor, you know what I'm saying? So, this is, they come with little sayings, zebra, herbivore, what the hell, they don't, I, I, I don't understand, goat, you are lucky today, thanks, I hope I pick the same one, so I can get my job, giraffe, tallest animal, really? Thank you, Rebecca Black. Uh, <laughs> another giraffe one. Okay, I'm going to eat the giraffe one because there's two. Anyway, it's already open because I couldn't help myself and I ate some on the subway. So literally, you dip in some strawberry sauce and it looks nasty. Mm -hmm. Okay, last but not least. If you're going to food in my teeth, I'm sorry. Last but not least, I got two packages. I'm only going to show you one because we only need to show you one. Two packages of japchae, which are Korean um, sweet potato slash yam noodles, which are clear and they look like worms, kind of. And um, you mix them with vegetables like carrots and onions and spinach and peppers. <laughs> I'm drooling, I'm hungry. And you mix in beef, like slices of beef. Um, I don't know if I should remove the lid, so I'm not going to, I guess. But this is what it looks like. Um, this is $5, which I think is really expensive, but you know what? I'm too lazy to make it myself, really. It's a pain in the butt. And the recipe I have, I don't know if it's like authentically Korean, whereas this is from a Korean supermarket, which means Korean people make it for Korean people who know what it's supposed to taste like. So I'm assuming that it better be damn good or I'm gonna be upset. I made it at home before and I don't know, my boyfriend and my mom were like, mm! and I was like, I want someone else to make it for me, it tastes better. I hope they actually taste good because I spent $10 worth of japchae and if it tastes bad, I'm really gonna cry. Anyway, tomorrow is Anime North and if you are in Toronto or the greater Toronto area, or really wherever it is, um, you should go. Not to meet me. I don't even know if I'm going anymore because apparently it's gonna rain and it's cold and I don't have a cosplay and I don't have that much money and I don't have a pass. So I don't really know if it's worth it, but I know that Shimmy Cocoa Puffs is going. So if you like Shimmy, um, you should go to Anime North this weekend or today, if it's Friday that you're watching. But yes, if you go, please try to cosplay. It's really fun. Uh, I don't have anything to cosplay as, unless I go as Lara Croft from Tomb Raider. And I'm not as skinny as her, but at least I have some aspect of the costume. And I have long hair. I can just braid it. I guess. Anyway, I'm gonna shut up now. So, anyway. Seriously, um, I hope you're having a good whatever, and... Please keep watching my videos if you are a subscriber. Thank you for being a subscriber. If you are watching this, you're awesome. Um, if you're not watching this, then you can't hear me make fun of you. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna go eat some japchae. So, take care, and I need a catchphrase.